After not uploading a video for a year, I decided it might be time to prove to the world that I am not dead. I am in fact alive, even though it might not seem like it right now. Every writer apparently has a morning routine. Mine is not that exciting. I read some stuff about Jesus and then I write some stuff for myself and then I read really big books because I like them a lot. This one is self-explanatory. Now tell me that isn't the most adorable sleepy kitty you've ever seen. Cup of coffee, numero dos. Cream always goes first. It's Monday morning, which means it's uh, the day that we have our team meeting or our pitch meeting. Um, so the first thing that I do when I come in on Mondays is look at what's trending and come up with uh, two or three ideas for articles. Um, so today I'm going to probably, hopefully, at least, okay, so I don't know if I'm going to write about these things, but I'm going to pitch something about um, cancer and eating too much sugar because that's apparently a thing. Um, and then uh, with all the wildfire things going on, um, the weird health things that happen to you even when you're not near one. Um, so we'll pitch those and we'll see if um, I get to write about them today or at some other point this week. So uh, my first one is, um, can sugar give you cancer? How unhealthy eating can increase your risk? Um, so a new study came out. Um, from what I understand from kind of just skimming it, like um, cancer cells can kind of like feed off of sugar and that kind of stimulates tumor growth and that's not good. Um, so uh, that was kind of the idea behind that one. Um, and then my second one was um, the hidden health hazards of wildfires. Um, but Lauren, you can have that one. So <laughs> that's fine. Um, but that's all I had. Boo! 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 Oh, oh, there she is. Boo, are you hungry? Boo, you want some food? You want some lunch? You want some lunch? You want some lunch? Hi, you hungry? Oh, you're such a pretty girl. Come on, food time. Come on, come on. Look at you running, okay. that I'm trying to, like it's been sitting in my inbox for, I don't know, like a week probably at this point, I'm trying to figure out if I wanna answer it. Um, so it's this person, and this happens sometimes, like someone is contacting me wanting me to write for them, but they don't want me to write for their blog or their website and use my name. They want me to literally write articles on a specific topic for them, for them to use under their name, which I guess you would consider ghostwriting. Um, they did offer me monetary compensation. They said, we will, I will pay you to do this. Um, so that's, you know, that it, it's not as bad as it could be. Um, but, like, I'm at a point in my, I don't like saying career, but I can't think of, in my frustration, I can't think of how else to phrase it at the moment. I, don't ask me to write things if you're not going to give me credit for them. It, this is frustrating me so much. Like, why? 
why can't you write your own content? Like I, do, I, I legitimately wish someone would explain to me why this happens. And this isn't even like a big business. This is like one person saying, hey, I'll pay you to do this work. That was my food digesting apparently. This is one person saying, I want to pay you to do my, my work for me. That is so stupid to me, like, why? Why can't you do it yourself? Like, do you not know how to write about this? So you're asking someone else to do it and you get the credit for it? No, I'm not gonna do that. And I really wanna answer and like be kind of snarky about it, but I also wanna be professional because I don't really know who this person is. Um, and I guess you never know like who's connected to who and whatever. Um, and I don't like dealing with drama. Confrontation and me don't, no thanks. But I don't get it. Like, why? Why can't you write your own content? Like, why? I don't understand. Like, I thank you for asking me. Like, I'm glad that you think that I am capable of doing this work. But no. Like, give me credit or don't ask me. Like, I'm trying to establish myself as, you know, an authority figure, I guess. And that's not me saying that I think I'm better than you are, but clearly you think that I'm better than you, but that doesn't really give you the right to ask me to do work and not give and not put my name on it. Like I'm way past that. Like a lot of freelancers start out doing that because it's easier to get paid that way. I've done it. I did it for a long time for a couple of people. Um, but now if I'm going to be spending my time writing something, um, I mean, there are a few cases where I'll make exceptions, but, um, if you're going to pay me to write something about health or whatever, uh, if you're not going to put my name on it, don't ask. I'm so, I don't get it. I wish, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. Like if you're trying to establish your, your website or your business or yourself as a blogger or writer or whatever, why won't you write your own content? Like, do you think that's going to make you credible at all? Like, I'm sorry, but like, good luck with that. This is frustrating. I'm not even going to answer this. I'm not even going to answer. Sorry, I'm just not going to. <laughs> it's not worth my time. Uh, a Keurig. Uh, <laughs> I made the mistake of not cleaning it for a long time, and so now I won't give me my coffee and a very sound. And I have to figure out how to fix it because I need coffee. Hey, Monday, how are you? Can you stop pestering me so I can get my work done, please? Thank you. <gasps> oh my god. I'm a genius. I fixed it. <sighs> oh, guys. I did it. I'll fix it. There is a cat on my desk. <laughs> She's never gotten on my desk down here before. What you doing? She wants to go outside, which is also weird. You can't go that way because she's an indoor cat. Has been an indoor cat her whole life. But, um... We were kind of sort of letting her go outside, like on the porch. That's a cat, but um, when we were getting ready to move, because we were like, Hey, hey, you were causing trouble over there. Come here. Hey, come here. Come here. You're going you're gonna to break something or knock something over. Hi. Oh, no. Please don't step on my keyboard. Oh, don't put your face in my coffee. Oh. So there's something, oh, I guess a few things I have to do tonight that I have been avoiding and I can't not do them again. So I have to do them tonight and I don't know how I'm gonna motivate myself to do them and maybe later I'll explain why I don't want to do them but uh, I'm gonna wait until after dinner of course um, and then just suck it up and do it and that's what you have to do sometimes you have to write things that you really don't want to and it just 
anxiety guys it happens you got to do it anyway got to make it happen so got to make it happen in the past year or so i have somehow gone from completely miserable freelance writer to full-time sort of kind of am okay with my job writer not every day is exactly the same there are surprises there are frustrations but at the end of the day i'm lucky enough to get to do what i have been training to do for the majority of my life it's worth it it's always worth it